All right, we, we have breaking news here, and I want to stipulate we do not read every one of the president's tweets out loud. However, this morning he is writing about things that get to the breaking news of the day, which is his mood and his fixations and his preoccupations, including with the Mueller investigation. He did meet with his lawyers extensively Monday and Tuesday. This is what the president just wrote. The inner workings of the Mueller investigations are a total mess. They have found no collusion and have gone absolutely nuts. They are screaming and shouting at people, horribly threatening them to come up with answers they want. They are a disgrace to our nation and don't care how many lives they ruin. These are angry people, including the highly conflicted Bob Mueller, who worked for Obama for eight years. He didn't, by the way. They won't even look at all the bad acts and crimes on the other side. A total witch hunt like no other in American history. Joining us now is Ken Starr. He was the independent counsel, led that investigation into President Bill Clinton, and is the author of the book Contempt, a memoir of the Clinton investigation. Also with us is CNN chief legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin. Uh, um, um, Ken, you, you, know, you didn't have it easy as independent counsel, <laughs> and you were attacked. However, when, not you, a great job. when you read that diatribe, the vitriol from the president this morning, how does it strike you? Well, it's uh, uh, over the top. It is uh, rhetorical hyperbole, shall we say. Now, Bob Mueller is an honorable guy. I've expressed concern about some of the people around uh, Bob Mueller, but I have confidence in his integrity and his professionalism. So I respectfully but, uh, but firmly disagree with uh, the tweet. And is it the type of thing a president should be writing? Oh, I don't think it's very presidential. I think the president uh, has been told countless times by those who uh, support so many of his policies, uh, and I'm among that group, please stop it. You're not doing yourself any good, and you're certainly not helping uh, the country. But he, he listens to his own counsel, and he's been a pretty successful guy. All right, I want to point one thing out, Jeffrey, about the language here. The very first sentence, he says, are the inner workings of the Mueller investigation are a total mess. I would note that over the last week, he has his guy, Acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker, overseeing that investigation. So it's possible he knows more about the inner workings mm -hmm. today than he did eight days ago. Right. You know, Ken and I, I think, agree that the appointment of Matt Whitaker as Attorney General is a constitutional, is constitutional. Uh, we disagree with George Conway and Neil Katyal, who wrote that op-ed piece that got a lot of attention. However, just because it was um, constitutional doesn't mean it was a good appointment. And the fact that, you know, he has an ally there who has expressed so much contempt and anger at the Mueller investigation as attorney general, who could be a spy about what's going on in the Mueller investigation for the president, raises questions about how the president knows, mm -hmm. the, knows this uh, knows this about the inner workings, or thinks he knows this about the inner workings of the Mueller investigation. Ken, did I hear sounds of affirmation from you? Oh, absolutely not. Uh, I think that uh, there's no reason to connect dots and to come up with uh, the answer. Uh, I respectfully disagree with uh, Jeffrey, although we're dealing with, and I understand that, we're, we're speculating. But here's the thing. Uh, if uh, the acting attorney general steps across the line and compromises the independence of the investigation and the integrity of the investigation. And that would include this kind of information feeding to the president or the president's lawyers and so forth. Then we have a very serious problem. The acting attorney general is presumed to be doing the right thing until proven otherwise. I think we've got a certain presumption of regularity here. Right. But, and, but and, Ken, we yeah. were agree. I, I was so happy we were agreeing on something because we were agreeing <laughs> that his appointment is constitutional. Right. Yeah. But you know, what about the conflict of interest? What about the fact that he is, you know, that he is an outspoken critic? of oh. the Mueller investigation. Oh. Isn't it inappropriate for him to be supervising the investigation? Jeffrey, I do not disagree with respect to the wisdom of the appointment. I really don't. Uh, I don't know Mr. Whitaker. I have met him. He has a very good reputation. I know he's a great CNN commentator and said some pretty fiery things as commentator. But he's taken the oath of office. That changes the whole situation. Mm -hmm. And he does have a reputation as a law officer as a matter of integrity. That's when you say, it's like Robert Kennedy becoming John Kennedy, his brother's attorney general. Hey, I may be your brother, 
but I've got a job to do. I have an oath uh, of office mm -hmm. to live up to, and I think that's going to, as it were, trump yeah. everything. And let's not make this a more toxic environment. Well, we just don't know. The bottom line is, is we sure. don't know, as, as you say. What we do know is he has the power to oversee it and the power right. to glean whatever knowledge he wants from the investigation. That's all I'm saying. More than that, we'll have to wait and see what more of the reporting is.